first thing I'm going to paint is this. All right, we are live. Hello, guys. From way back. From way back. Oh, it's just a long ways away. I'm going to bring it closer. Oh, okay. We just have a lot of stuff that we brought this week. Yeah. So today we're going to be showing you our thrift store finds for the week. Um, we made a few trips. I went to a new thrift store in Pleasant Grove. I can't remember the name, but it's like down in Main Street in Pleasant Grove, Utah. And I bought a few things there, and the rest came from DI. And also, we're going to be announcing our, the new retail space that will be opening next month in California that will have DIY, sweet pickings, and some of my um, painted projects will be there for sale in Fallbrook as well. So the store is Vintage Retail Therapy, and Zeb is going to put the link below when we're all done with the address and the information about the grand opening, which is on the 20. 23rd. Get your date right. Yeah, and I'm going to be there live <laughs> painting demo from 10 to 2. So if you're anywhere near Fallbrook, California, which is about a half hour from Oceanside, an hour from North San Diego, we'd love to see you while we're there. Yeah, come on out. It'll be fun. So we're going to get started and we're going to show you what we've got. I'm going to go grab my fall paint. So I'm going to just start running down the list real quick. Are you going to still put a stripe on this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is kind of like a crock. We got two of them. They were $1.50 each found those. Those are going to be great for storing whatever you want on your countertop. They'll look great. What color are you going to do the stripe on there? Um, I'm using fairy chalk weather and dinner mint. So we're going to do a stripe and dinner mint. Are we going to seal it? Yeah, I'll seal that with probably big top. Seal it so it'll be wipeable. Can't put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, it's decor. So um, <laughs> back behind that you may not have saw seen in the thumbnail. This is just a picture with a frame on it. Let's see, we're gonna can paint we see? that and make a sign out of it. So we're gonna paint the frame and this part here, and then we'll, we'll stencil a sign on that. It was only three dollars, which I thought was a good deal. And it's just on MDF. It, it's printed. It's a repop. Like they probably put a hundred of them in hotels all over the place, or thousands, whatever. Hotels, high end <laughs> hotels, I'm sure. So we got this. It already had this graphic on there. This is the lid that was on it at the thrift store. It does not fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my router and just router this edge and I'll make that fit and then voila, we'll have a nice fun lid and this was $2, $2 for this and the picture, the painting frame picture was $3, I don't think I said how much that was. Well I like this one because I like the graphic on the front, it's yeah. not actually old but it looks old. So. Yeah, it's cool. All right, you want to move that over there? Yep. Um, I'm going to start painting this because it has to dry because I'm hopefully going to stencil well, it. Let me move some of this out of the way. I'm going to go Showing over it real quick. Oh, this is a cool mirror. This I picked up at that store in Pleasant Grove. I can't remember the name, but it is... It's a shot of the fridge. It's a thrift store that um, helps provide services for battered women. And it's in Pleasant Grove, Utah. And I will probably be going back there. I bought quite a few things from there. This lamp is from there. I bought this there. What else came from there? Oh, this is really cool. So that will show you that. All right, I'm going to start painting. So, did this, was this the shade that was yeah, on this lamp? Yeah, that's the shade that was on it. It's not the original shade by any means. So, this is the shade that was on this lamp. It's plastic and fabric. So, we're going to deconstruct this one that we got at the thrift store. This shade was $3. And throw that on there. It's a little small, but deconstructed, it should look pretty cool. You don't want it to be too big once you construct it. There's like a booger in my first in, first out bottle. You just, you just pick it off. Just pick the I, boogie. I couldn't get the paint burger out. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to dump it. And then we got magazine rack. Jamie's back here painting away. Yeah, I'm you using can't, you can't see what she's want. painting. I'm just painting that picture because I would like to hopefully get a stencil in there before we're done. This was $2. I'm not even sure what this is. It's like a little birdhouse. I don't know. But it's it gonna, looks cool. It'll look fun. It's going to get out. all the way painted white and I'll probably put like some flowers in there or something. Yeah. Well, that'd be cool with like some fake flowers coming out the top. Some greenery. I know how you like your greenery. We got these little dishes, $1.50 each. That are going to get painted. That's all right. I'm in my paint clothes. No. I'm in my not my paint clothes. I have pajama pants on and a not paint shirt. But. So this says let it snow. I'm going to pull that off. It's cut like a uh, sugar mold, so we're going to paint that up and take the let it snow off because it's, it's June. 
Christmas in Christmas in June, and put right? Put some fake succulents in there. And we got this big old ceramic pitcher. It's got a chip right there. What I'm gonna do on that is I will sand that smooth so people won't get cut, and then we'll paint that over, and it'll be good to go. This was four dollars. One of our more most expensive purchases. I just liked the um, style of it. It's nice and tall. Yeah, it's 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 got a fun style, very curvy. Curvy like me. All right, show them what you did. They can't see that on oh, camera. Oh, we'll move that and they can see what I'm doing. I'm moving it. I'm working on it. So this is just a three-tiered tray. It was twelve bucks, but it's all metal and someone welded this together. And it was enamel, like it was enamel plates, I guess. Somebody else did the hard work. Yeah. It's super cute. Oh, it's, that's just gonna go in the shop just like that. I'm just painting the frame on this and the base and I'm gonna let it dry and hopefully I can get another coat on there and stencil it before we're all done. I don't know. So this is like a drawer with a fun detail on the front. Someone's already distressed it. It may even be, oh uh, yep, it's from Ross, mass produced. It's gonna get repainted because it's It's got a broken top right there. But we'll repaint that, throw some fun stuff in it at the shop. It'll be cool. All right, hand that over here, I'll repaint it. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna show you the painting now. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This is a lamb, it's like a mold. It's like a chocolate mold for like Easter. Is it for chocolate, whoa, is it for chocolate? Know. Yeah, I think it's a chocolate mold. I wouldn't swear to it, but I think that it is. I think actually I'll either rust it or I'll paint it with milk paint later because milk paint sticks to metal really good. So like a chippy milk paint would be cool. I don't know, I just like lambs. That's a lot of chocolate. <laughs> hey, sometimes you need a lot of chocolate. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to give this a fresh coat of paint. I'm using DIY paint white swan. If you watch us, you know, I know you're shocked that I would use white swan. How dare you? I know. How dare you? Oh, I didn't show them this duck. We will not be painting this. Is it a duck? It's, it's, like a a chicken. it's a chicken. It's a chicken. So it's had an unfortunate life. The back looks like the tail got cracked off, but it's decoupaged. And it, and it comes apart. We'll, we're going to leave this one alone. I just think it's cool. I love the flowers on it. So, real quick, I see people are talking about not getting notifications. Check your bell to see if it's clicked because YouTube, when they sometimes do updates, um, it'll uncheck your bell so you won't get notifications like on a lot of different channels, not just yeah, ours. Yeah, we've had a few people after we've told them to do that, they win, they're like, oh, it wasn't checked. So. Yeah, so if you had your bell checked on our, to get notifications for our channel and now you're not getting the notifications, go back and look and see and recheck it so that you get these lives. Because while we try to do them on a regular basis on Saturday nights for sure, uh, it doesn't always happen if the kids are crazy, so. Kids were crazy today. Have you guys ever tried DoorDash? Oh, I can put a link to that too. Um, when we're all done, I'll put a link to my DoorDash. I am obsessed with it. So I was shipping paint and the kids were all hungry and I'd been gone shopping quite a bit today and so Zeb was here and our air conditioning isn't working. So it froze outside. We had a storm and some of the insulation came off so the pipe froze. Yeah, so I ordered, I was like, oh, it's seven o'clock, I've gotta feed the kids dinner. So I went on DoorDash and I have like, for whatever reason, I get free uh, delivery for a month, so I just had to tip the driver, and they brought us Costa Vida, which is like burritos and stuff, so dinner came from DoorDash. This could be dangerous. We won't even have to leave the house. I know. It's bad. I've used it before. The other day, I got Auntie Anne's pretzels. So these little frames were pretty fun. They're just a dollar fifty. There's nothing in the back those. of them. We're going to dry brush them, apparently, and then I think we're going to do, are we going to do some watercolors for I this? I don't know. Or if I'll we just get them just the way they are. If we get around to it, we might do some watercolors. Yeah, I want to. Um, I want a watercolor, but it's been busy. We had Zeb's lathe broke, and we had to buy a new lathe. And I got a new one back in April because the one I had was getting tired. Um, it was still working, but it was getting tired. So I got a new one, and the new one already done. I don't know what happened with it. The motor burned up on it. They were really good at Harbor Freight. I took it down. I couldn't find my receipt. They looked me up. Done. Gave me a new one. So no big deal. But you have to take the old one apart. Yeah, that was Put the new pain. one together. Our Harbor Freight is not in our town. So, so all I'm doing is there's just like a little bit of paint left on this. And I'm just dry brushing this. So I'm not putting a ton of paint on there. That way you can kind of still see the grain. Oh, lots of comments. See, ta-da. Dry brush. And I'll probably, when it's all dry, sand it a little bit. 
All right, so while Jamie's painting, I'm gonna try to quickly go through comments so we can catch up and answer some questions. So if you said hi, hi. <laughs> Lots How's of you saying going? hi. Saturday night. How do we, Lisa Hancock Guthrie asked, how do we decide what to charge? Are you talking about our thrifted finds uh, or furniture in general? Um, I try to make about 50 bucks an hour on furniture, but it just kind of depends. Now that I'm includes... Pretty quick. That includes product. Yeah. And I am super fast. But um, as far as the little stuff do goes, they go anywhere from $8.95 usually to like $25 for our small... The lamp will be a little more probably in the $39 to $40 range. And I pay anywhere from like $1 to $10 for my small items. It really just depends on how much I have in them and how much the market will bear. Sometimes you don't make as much money on smalls, but if you're not doing anything, like that chicken was $4, but I'm going to probably ask $12.95 and all I'm going to do is clean it. So. Yeah. It's got a crack in it. It's not perfect, but. Yeah, but it's so cute. But we found it. I right. found it. If you, if you find something thrifting, charge whatever you can get for it. That's the rule. <laughs> Uh, Joey, we're backwards again. I don't know what's happened. I set up the camera the same as something well, on YouTube's end. Right? So, I mean, I'm now left-handed, right? <laughs> it's all right. We it's got like, three left-handed I don't kids. think we have anything we're going to stencil tonight. Oh, we are going to stencil. Oh, we are maybe. stenciling. So the stencils would be backwards. but I'm just dry brushing this, and I'm going to stencil it probably. All right. Oh, the lamb could be a cake mold. Because oh. I'm thinking that's a ton of chocolate. I mean, look, this thing's like hey, as big I as my like head. Hey, I like chocolate, okay. If you do that thick, that's like two, three pounds of chocolate. <laughs> Sometimes you need chocolate. Don't judge chocolate lovers. Oh, Homestead Wife. It's clicked and didn't get the notifications. I don't know what's going on. Send an email to YouTube complaining. <laughs> <laughs> be like, we want more Jamie and Zub. So this lamp is like hobnob, and I won't be painting this part, but I'm going to paint this gold lovely situation here and the um maybe if i can ever get this there we go i'm gonna tape off a little bit of that oh before. avalon said if you click the bell you get options you must click all to get every one otherwise it's just going to kind of randomly give you i forgot about that oh that's Good probably call. like on facebook when you like something you have the option of seeing it see first so if you guys follow me on facebook um when you click like Click see first and you'll always see my post on Facebook. That will help. It's kind of like the notifications on YouTube. So same thing for YouTube. Make sure that you're clicking all. Someone was saying you could use this lamb like bookends. Take it apart. That could be Oh cool. my gosh, that would be so cute. That's why I love you guys. All right, so do you think I should paint it chippy or should I make it rusty? That's what I need to know. All right, where's the like open container wipes while I'm tired? Oh. Lisa Hancock Guthrie said someone stole her identity and she got charged $1,200 from a DoorDash. Oh, oh. that's not good. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a hefty DoorDash charge. What? Did they steal it like from... That's crazy. Yeah, Maybe the, mi the milk glass lamp is going to be cool. Are you going to paint the milk glass, Jamie? Uh-uh. You're just painting the wood and the gold, yeah, the, the, the brassy... The I'll probably get paint on the milk glass. And then I'll like wipe We can off. wipe the stress that off though, right? Yep. Let me bring you in so you guys can see close. It's good. Oh, don't die. Got stuff all over the place. So that's, it's got some damage down to this gold tin. It's not damage, it's lovely rust. It's lovely rust. It's going to take a few coats. For whatever reason, metal doesn't paint up. So is everything going white? Where's the dinner mint? The dinner mint's over there. Not everything's going white, but the lamp's going white. All right. What are you going to do with these vases, Jamie? Um, I'm going to wash them. Oh, guys. I might put something in them. I don't know. I got to go Polish. get Jack. He found himself a thrift store find, and he wanted to paint it live with us tonight. So right. I got to go get him. And the other kids are probably going to want to say hi, so bear with us while they march through and say hi. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to... I got my first coat on here. The first coat never really looks good with paint. Ooh, that's dirty. That needs to get washed. Um, so when you're using chalk paint and milk paint, just remember like the first coat is not going to look so great. Give yourself a minute. It's all splotchy. You can't tell on camera when it's splotchy. All right, Jack, Jack. Don't don't what color do you want to paint? I'm paint. Where's your car? Here, come over Where's here. Car? I got you. No, no, no. All right, Jack's going to get up on this stool and he's going to show you his car that he thrifted. 
It's cool. I didn't even see it. And he's like, that one. You can paint that. All right. Show him your tin card, Jack. You want to show him close? All right. Say hi while we're showing him the card, guys. Hi. Tell him your name. Tell him who you are. I'm Eliza. How old are you, Eliza? Nine. That's Redrick. Hey, he can say how old he is. Who are you? I'm Redrick, and I'm six. Oh, I got lipstick on him. Yeah. You can Jack black me in the face and... They don't want to hear that. <laughs> and then Jack had an argument today. And his job. All right, show him, show him your car. Give him a good view of it. So this is a tin metal car. It's all rusty. It's got plastic wheels, but Jack's like, I can paint that, Dad. I want to paint that. So he's going to paint it. I'll go get him a color. All right. We're mixing it up tonight. All right, what are you going to paint it, Jack? Mom's getting you a color. I red. don't think I have red. He's going red. Yeah, because I like red. You like red? Oh, I, I have red. <laughs> Paint is too messy. Paint is too messy? Wow. Are you going to get it on your Star Wars shirt? No. We'll wash it out. Be careful not to get it on your Star Wars shirt. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, while he's painting that, if you guys watched our recent lamp makeover video, we did a deconstructed uh, lampshade. Just, just really, literally just tear the fabric off. Which I'm going to do now. All right, let Jack, me... are you gonna paint your car? And this is old and stained. You may not be able to see it, but it's got like weird dust stain marks on it. So I would rip it off even if it was brand Jack, new. Do you want to yeah. rip off the Jamie sticker? doesn't care about colors. If she needs the sticker, if she needs the. Uh... I need a skeleton shade. I will rip apart yeah, it. Yeah. If she needs the metal to be visible, she just takes it right on up. All right. There's that. No, All right, Bottom Jack. Red. So Jerry. So Jack's got some. Larry. Jerry. I was trying to say fairy and fairy chalk mother and Jack at the same time, Jerry. So Jack's got some fairy chalk mother in barn red, and it is a very fun red. All right, Redrick and Odelia oh. and Eliza. There's enough people on camera. So you guys say good night. Bye. Bye. I'll let Jack paint, and then next time you guys will find me. If you guys want to paint something live, you got to come thrifting. I couldn't. Because you were time. at dance. You chose I dance over thrifting. Mm. All right, Jack. Oh, oh, too much paint. You only want to tip the tip in there, because otherwise you're gonna get too much paint. Okay, paint your I chart. Did, I want to do that. No, this you're just gonna paint this. <laughs> Here, you you need me to zoom you in, Jack. Yeah. All right, we'll bring so you in close so you guys can watch right the Jack there. show live. I'm the kids are off for the summer, so I'm sure they'll come thrifting with us. So you guys will see them paint their fine. Oh no, why is this paused? I don't know. Hmm. Screen frozen. froze. Let's see if it comes back, guys. Mmm. Hang on. So I have comments, but the screen is froze. Can you guys hear us? Let me see if I can get this back. They can hear us, but they can't see us. I move the camera. Aha! Me close up. All right. We're back. I'm not getting it on my shoe. You're yeah. not getting it. Don't get it on your Star Wars shirt. Oh. I'm going to get the tag off of here. All right. Good job, Jack. Good job. I got the tag off. You know what's frustrating about that screen freezing? Is we just upgraded this morning to some really fast internet the fastest we can get in our area and, and it's Jeremy running everything my great paint <laughs> and i'm painting it be just pretending you're just paint. pretending to paint okay. that looks like real paint dude all right do some real painting ah. right. get those oh. fenders real good while you do that i'm going to tape off this jack you're you're like a super good painter there's a lot of paint on this, so I can paint. There's a lot of paint on it? Yeah, so I can paint it on the whole Why do you like red? Because every time I ask you, you always say you want red. Is that your favorite color? Yeah. Why do? You, why is red your favorite color? Is it because your brother's name is Redrick? Yeah. Yeah? Let's see if I can get a accurate tape line here. Okay. Oh, you're dripping the paint in there. 
Just don't drip it on this lamp. We don't know if we're painting that yet. I need to see a lamp DIY. <laughs> we just did one actually, didn't we? Yeah, this week. I think okay. it was Wednesday's video. I can't tape a straight line to save my life. You need me to come help you? Yeah, I'm not just struggling tonight. All right, so this is mostly deconstructed. Oh no, I got on the wheel. That's okay if you paint the wheels. I, I will actually probably just cut this off and leave some of the feathers. Leave some of that strand. If you wanted to get this off, it's real easy to just heat gun it and it melts that glue right off of there and burns any fabric. So do it outside, not in your house. Away it'll from get, children. Wear stinky. all the safety stuff. Okay, I'm trying to get a nice straight line on here. I might be I might be successful. Did you get it? Um, Kim says that Jack paints like her. He paints like me too. You just kinda kinda throw it on there and how then old just... is Jack? Jack, how old are you? Um three. He's um free. Yeah, How old are you going to be on your birthday? Um, not, not seven, four. Not seven, he's going to be four. Yeah, four. Redrick is turning seven. Jack's birthday is July 21st, and Redrick's is July 29th. So we usually double them up and have a big celebration. Well, we have four birthdays in two and a half weeks. So we have birthdays July 21st, July 29th, August 9th, and August 11th. Uh, 11th. And I bet anything now the kids know we told them they have to um, they have to thrift to paint. Um, I bet you anything they will be begging to go to the thrift store with us. At least the girls will be will be taking them thrifting. Usually with they us. don't want to come with us. Are you monitoring these comments? Um, check my tracking instrument. Always at the international distribution place. Yay! Yours and I, the first wave of orders is going to. Well, I had four orders. That were all in that box so that's good i'm going to follow up with them on monday and make sure the distribution place is all good and i've got more international orders to ship on monday to the distribution place so i'm super excited and i need to we need thrift stores in buffalo like you do do you guys not have thrift stores thrifting is life that is like thrifting is what i like to do in my spare time i actually wish i had more time junk we speed we speed junk like, yeah, we crammed that in, in between getting the fast new uh, modem for the, the faster internet and taking Eliza to dance and getting home in time to pick her up. I think actual times, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so hot. I can't wait for the air conditioning to work. I think actual time spent in the thrift store was like 30 minutes to buy all this stuff. So we also thrifted this. This was $15. We're going to take the painting out and paint the frame so that it's updated and I'll come close here in just a sec. We're thinking of leaving the painting in there. Someone did this by hand. It's I like the way it looks. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just paint over the painting. So I'm gonna work on popping this out. Are we back? Man, we're having some struggles tonight, guys. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no, we're back. For all the money we spend, our internet should be rocking. Hey! Hey, what? It's not frozen anymore. You're not frozen? We're not frozen. Yay! It's not, it's not frozen anymore. Jack, you're so good. So this is stapled in, so this might take me a minute. All right, I'm... I, I fixed it, Dad. You fixed fix the it. internet? Yeah. All right. Maybe don't dip your brush again. I think that has a significant amount of I think you've got in. enough... Yeah, you have enough paint. Under. Get the paint from in here inside the truck bed. It's kind of pulling up. All right, so I've got this taped off. I'm going to paint inside this. I want to paint all of these things. You, you want to paint, paint all of them? We can't paint them all red. I want to paint them. I want to paint them colors. Mom uses red as an accent color most times. Kim says that October is a big birthday month for her family. Let's see. He fixed it so cute. Sally said she went thrifting for the first time. She's like addicted. It's, man, once you go and you start finding all these things, you get the ideas, you can be like, oh, I'll change that or I'll paint that, and it totally changes the way stuff looks. All right, so I'm I'm painting. done painting this. You're done? All right, okay. go watch your show with go the watch, kids. Go watch say bye. for the kids. Can you oh, say bye? I'm going to take him to the bathroom and watch it. Paint. I want to paint all these things. No, you're, ju you're just painting your truck. It's got a thick coat. That paint's not coming off. You didn't paint, you didn't the, paint sides? the sides? Alright, we'll get up there and paint that side. Paint this side, right here. You missed a spot. So I am just using Fairy Chalk Mother in Dinner Mint, which is like a duct tape blue. Here, get up close and show them. You can Me? show them close. Yeah, walk on up there by the camera and show them what oh, you're doing. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get up close. So they're gonna see I'm sweaty from the AC not working. Okay, is this close enough, Zeb? I think All so. Right. I think they can see that. I'm Although just painting really the. I'm screen. painting in the in the stripe. It'll be a couple of coats. You can't wash this after you do this. You know, you can't throw it in the dishwasher, but you can totally use it as decor. It may not have been dishwasher safe to start with. Yeah, that's like a little crock, so that's why I'm putting a stripe on the middle. The, the trick is going to be getting the stripe on the other one the same. And then when this dries, I'll do another coat, I'll rip the tape off, and then I will lightly sand it and then seal it with Big Top, and it'll be good to go. And that, that stripe should hold up really well on there for yeah, a long time. I found sure. the nail. It's not gonna Oh, Jack. Oh. Okay, I think he's done. I'm gonna go clean him up. You guys will be stuck with Jamie for you, just a minute. By it looks herself. like we've had it. Oh, no, don't rub your hands on your shirt. You're gonna get on your Star Wars not shirt. Not the Star Wars shirt, it's new. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold your hands out straight. I'll get your head too. Don't touch the white couch. Oh. There's been an accident. Jack has gotten paint everywhere. He's usually pretty good. But doesn't want to see this up close. There's like a gallon of paint on that truck. Pretty good. All right, let's see if we got any questions. Sherry says she's been thrifting for 40 years. If I kept everything had, I would need 20 storage buildings. Yep. I had an emporium shop for 10 years. That's way fun. What color will I paint the gold framed mirror? Um, I usually paint them white. But I actually think this would be really pretty in, um, in the dinner mint from Fairy Chalk Mother. It's really close. If you've ever used Annie Sloan, it's really close to her duck egg blue. All right, hold on, guys. I've got red paint. It looks like a crime scene. Okay. We'll just, we'll just cover the red paint up with this rag. It's damp. Okay. The thing about mirrors is if you can pop them out, it's even better. This doesn't have screws. This just has those. Where's that flat head screwdriver? Oh, this is the one I was using. You need to do this one yeah, first. Yeah, you just pull that off. Yep. If I can't get the back off. Oh, this one has staples in it. Oh, is, is it pulling them all the way out? Yep. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I was just going to flip them up. What are you doing? Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like a picture frame, yo. Oh. <laughs> I was going hog wild on it. I don't want you to have to re-put them back in there. We know how you do the mirror break. Oh, uh, too many, too many broken mirrors. All the broken mirrors. I've got lots of bad luck coming. You've got good luck. Years, years of bad luck. <laughs> uh, Tracy said her son spilled half a container baked up on the garage floor. She almost cried. I cried. Oh. I get a wholesale and I think I'd still cry. I live in a little town, Missouri. Also, I'm 25 miles from Walmart. Where in Missouri? How far are you from Poplar Bluff? If you need good junk, go to Poplar Bluff and find my friend. Uh, what's Kathy's mom's name? That's in the wrong person. Hold on. <laughs> I've met her like twice. <laughs> her Betty Sparks. Find Betty Sparks in Poplar Bluff. She's got good stuff because her husband was a picker and he picked all kinds of stuff. I don't know if Poplar Bluff is near you, but if you are, just go find yourself Betty. Winning. Okay. And tell her that Jamie said hi. All right, we're winning. Okay, why don't you put that somewhere safe? Mirrors are one of the easiest things to thrift and upcycle because I paid $8 for it. I'll sell it for probably $35. And I could sell it for more, but I feel like $35 is fair because it's a plastic frame. And I'm just gonna put like two coats of paint, wet distress, throw some wax or sealer on there done the nice thing about this one i'm always looking for good detail i'll show you guys up close this one has these roses on it and they're so pretty can they see that yep and so when i wet distress them you never want to use a sandpaper on something like this when i wet distress it that gold's gonna peek through and it's gonna look so good it's gonna look like i tried really hard but i didn't I love myself some gold mirrors. Poplar Bluff is four hours and 50 Ooh, minutes. That's, that's, a long, far. that's a long drive. That, that's, that's commitment right there. Well, I don't know anywhere else in Missouri. Just Poplar Bluff. I've never been there, but I know they got some good stuff. All right. Um, let's see. Do I ever use sponges to paint with? Nope. But I've seen it done. Uh, we use sponges that are on our mermaid thing that we did on our... Sponges? Yeah, remember those sponges that we used to uh, no. wet distress on the mermaid? Oh, yeah, I use sponges to wet distress, but not to paint. 
Oh, Elaine's in Houston, Texas. We have been to Houston because Zeb's parents live. My sister live, lives in Houston. Yeah, Zeb's parents live in Damon, outside of Houston. Um, let's see, Houston, Texas. I have a friend that has a paint studio there. I can't remember her name. She teaches paint nights. But I'm sure there's plenty of good stores out there. Oh, if you're in Houston, you're not far from Galveston. Uh, look up Island Junk Company on Facebook. I don't think the store is called that because she runs a space. But if you go on her page on Facebook, um, you could find my good friend and um, go visit her Island Junk Company. She's in Galveston. So now that I've got that off, I'm thinking of keeping this and using it as a stencil. I don't mm -hmm. know how many oh, things we'll do. Oh, come on. The font looks great. I'll use it as a stencil. I'll find something cool and sell it. Fun fact. I like to, I like to do that. Jamie will be like, mm, no, I don't think I want to sell that. And I'll do it anyway. And then, uh, then she gets upset at me. I don't ever get upset at you. <laughs> I have a design aesthetic. I'm kind of picky. She is picky. But I like to, uh, I like to switch stuff up every now and then on her. Yeah, if you're in Houston, you're not far from Round Top. There's so much good stuff. Go see my friends, the Junk Gypsies. They got good stuff. All right, let's see. Um, Angie says she's closer to Poplar Bluff. She's two hour and a half hours. All right, well then go see yourself, Betty, Betty Sparks. And tell her that I said hi. That Poplar Bluff is a tiny town, so I'm sure if you go anywhere in Poplar Bluff and you ask somebody where Betty lives, you should be able to find her. They have a little general store. I don't know if they're selling stuff out of it or not. So while she's doing that, these are the little frames, dollar fifty frames that she dry brushed. They're dry now. And looks awesome. This is a triangle brush from Zebra. I don't think we have them up on our website. We have some in the store. But it works for details. It's actually more for painting walls, but it was it's for clean. painting the corner on a wall, but they work great for details on furniture. Alright, so I'm gonna second coat this one. Do we have anything else to show them? Um, can you put a second coat on that? Yeah, on this white. Yeah, I don't know that we're gonna get to stand. Oh, you know what? Can you go get a small stencil? We can stencil this. Right. I don't think we'll get to stenciling that. I'll try to put it on community. Um, because that's going to take a minute. I'm going to put another coat of white paint. I'm going to show you what that is since you guys can't see it. I'm going to put another coat of white paint on this and then I'll seal it. I'll distress it, seal it, and then I will put my stencil on. Because when I do black stencils on white, I like to seal the white first. So that way when I distress the black stencil, I'm not making my white look gray. That happens sometimes. All right, so we've got this second coat on here. Let's see how straight my lines are. You guys ready for, I love, it's like so satisfying to rip tape off. Oops, that was just a little piece. If I can get this off. I like to rip the tape off while it's wet so it doesn't peel up. Cause if you wait till it's all the way dry, sometimes it'll peel your paint out. I'll come show you guys up close in a second. That was looking for a stencil for my little cutting board that we thrifted. Where's the end of this? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I've got this essential stencil, which may be backwards for you guys. I apologize if it's That's backwards. That's not gonna fit on this. Wait, I'm using the little ones. I'm gonna use these. It says bread, milk, eggs, fruit, and vegetables. Okay, can you get the little square ones? The li oh, you wanna number it? No, we have little square ones that say stuff. I didn't see those. Oh, you want me to go get them? Yeah, if you know where they're at, I'll go look. I know where, I think I saw them. Oh, right. I thought you'd read my mind. Sorry. No, I was going words. Big words. We're going to use those on this, that white thing I just showed you guys. All right, let me come up close. Okay. Ta-da! I'll make the other one match, and I'll, like, kind of distress it a little bit. And these are going to be so cute. And I mostly bought them because I like the little lid. Oops. That was really cute. I paint all kinds of stuff, like this porcelain. I paint it and then I seal it and then it holds up well. Let's see if we got any comments. We're waiting on Zeb. Um, this is Dinner Mint, which is kind of a duck egg blue. It's really pretty. I love Dinner Mint. In fact, it's like one of those colors that's not neutral, but it's like 
light enough that it can be a neutral. It looks really good paired with Apothecary by DIY and it's very like farmhouse, but it can also be shabby chic if you prefer more shabby chic than farmhouse. And I'm always mixing shabby and farmhouse together. Kind of a French country vibe is what I like. Paint the top of the lid that green, the ball top only. Oh, the little. Well, I found this three pack. Is that the one you were talking about? Um, I don't know. They say stuff. They said to paint this the mint. Paint that. Pa oh, oh, paint the top. So this one is the has like the act justly we have scripture quotes on it. Yeah. So this you think one here. Fit on there? Yeah, they'll fit. That's super tiny. Let me see if I can get it in close without getting it blurry. So this one says, "Act justly, love mercy, walk humbly," and then it's got the scripture quotes from those that reference that on the bottom. Oh, that's way cute. Good oh. idea. Whose idea was that? Hold on. So which one do you want to do? What? I don't know. You pick it. Um, well, these are all just a little, they're like a hair big. I missed who was, um, oh, you, Crystal, you didn't miss it. We've been live for a minute. We're going to go. Oh, so this one will fit. I think this one will just barely fit. It says, love, mercy, Micah 6-8, if you can't read that backwards. Yeah, I'm trying to find the person. I'll have to scroll through this, but whoever said paint the top, thank you. That's super cute. All right, what color are we doing this? I'm that just going to... ties gonna... that all together. Okay, what? What color are we doing this? Black. Black. Go you got some blood. black over there? Yeah. All right, after this, I think we're going to go, guys. That's got a mandate. I'm going to Star Wars again. Went to go see Solo. I'm going again. I loved it. It was great. Thought it was awesome. That's got himself a mandate. My cousin's in town. And uh, you want to take that off there? he drives truck, and he doesn't get to go to very many movies, so we're going to go hit it up. Oh, do you want to use the little brush that they gave us? Yeah. Here's the stencil brush right here. So this is all from Essential Stencils. This is the brush, and this stencil from here, I'll have Zeb put the link to the stencils and the brush in the comments. It was Sherry Williams. Sherry Tim Williams, Cook. thank you. Tim Cook says it's the Sherry Williams. That's why I like crafting with you guys. You have all the best ideas. People think it's me, but I'm like, nope, it's the people I ask. It's all about my friends. All right. Do you want to tape that on there? I got... Um, nope, I'm not taping. Can I just tape it? Okay. All right. I'm going to try to get my dry brush on so good and yeah. offload my brush. Off I, you I know, when we're live, I always, I always put offload. way too much. I have people that watch me and say, why didn't you offload all my good friends? So, all right. Now that's taped on there. Okay, that's taped. And you don't have to hold it as tight. All right. Um, it's not hard to make your own stencils. I don't make them because it's a pain in the bum to find all the designs. The reason why I like essential stencils is because I feel like their stencils hold up good and they have all the designs that I want and it's just easier to just buy them. Boy, that's little in there. Plus, I like to show things that people can buy that this, the Cameo is kind of expensive, and so this is a less expensive way if you're not wanting to invest a few hundred dollars in a Cameo. Well, and then it took us three months to figure out how to use it good. Have I still not decided what to do with my sugar molds? No, I'm going to put greenery in them, but I have to take it with me to the craft store to fit it all in, decide what I want, and I haven't done that yet. But I promise I will, and I'll share a picture of that. Um, Kim says it's frozen and buffering. I think it's on your end, Kim, because it's working for me while Zeb's there. Hmm. Oh, just hang tight. Was, It'll come back it around. Less is on. Less we're offloading just for you, my friend. <laughs> Kim's going to refresh. Okay, hold on. Happily Hirsch says they are naked, though. I don't know what that was, too. Oh, what are we doing with the magazine holder? I see those a lot. So the magazine holder is just going to get sprayed because I don't want to brush all those little spindles and then I'll do a stencil on each side. That's what I do with my magazine holders. Let's see. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. It's getting late in the eastern time zone. Yeah, you guys are coming up on, uh, well, coming up on midnight. Kay says, how would I blend two contrasting colors together in a piece? Look for my blended paint finishes, my boho armoire 
like I've got a few of them with some bright ones and then I use I usually will use a squirt bottle with water to kind of help blend my paint colors together or I layer them one on top of the other tell you what I don't think I have a boho playlist I just have it in specialty furniture finishes I will go make a boho playlist while I'm waiting for this to upload and then put the link in the description of this video so you can find it easy He'll do that next week because he's going to move. I'm doing it tonight. You're going to do it tonight. I'm going to upload this video before I go. Oh, okay. Well, he'll try. No no promises in case it doesn't get done because I actually have to finish ordering paint. Oh, you're going to be on the computer? Yeah. Well, maybe then it'll yeah. be tomorrow. I was halfway through Monday. ordering paint for the day and I got to get that done. <laughs> Happily, Hirsch says it's, she didn't realize it was late. She's in Florida. Avalon says she yard sells more than she thrifts because she can barter. So here's my thing. People always ask me where I buy stuff. I don't yard sell because I have to drive to a lot of places to like get enough quantity. Our Deseret Industries thrift stores usually have quite a bit of stuff. And things are anywhere from like a dollar to three dollars for small items, which I feel like is a pretty good price. And sometimes when I go to yard sales, people want like too much money for their stuff. So I feel like DI is pretty good and I feel like I get more bang for my buck because I can get a whole cart full of stuff in like usually 30 or 40 minutes. Sometimes I strike out, but usually I can do pretty good at DI. Today we have like an overflowing cart, but my bigger items, I don't buy there. I usually buy those on Marketplace because I get a better deal. At least here. All right, here's All right, the is reveal. Is that not enough paint on it? Shh. Oh my goodness. Oh, Zeb. Oh. Look at that. That's my best stencil yet, guys. Because you offloaded, just like less. It was us. more work because I had to do a lot more stippling, but you know, I think that turned out great. Maybe a little distress the on there. Stencil is not backwards; it's the camera. Yeah, camera's backwards. Sorry, guys. I promise you that in real life, the stencil is forward. Sherry says you did a pretty good job. Like not a really good job, but you did pretty good. So I suppose Well, I'll I do have, it did bleed through like a little, I got a little overzealous on the Y here. That's okay, we're gonna distress it a little bit. All right. Right. So I'm gonna paint this real quick. My little sugar mold situation here. Well, and then I'll wet distress this once it's dry and let that red come back through there. And I'll probably put some fake succulents. I could put real ones, but then I'd have to remember Boy, the that water. fit just perfect on there. I almost didn't get it on. You know, I knew exactly how big the stencil was, so when I thrifted that, I was like, ooh, I know exactly what's going on. That'll work. Ooh, missed a spot over here. Oh, I missed a spot. That's why I have you around, because you keep me in line. <laughs> You're also pretty cute. Oh, okay. And you're handy at making wreaths. There, the, you have the wreaths. That's, man, I had no idea wreaths were that wildly expensive. We will be making all the wreaths from now on. It oh. was basically half price. Yeah, it, they are way expensive. And you could have totally made that cheaper if we would have thrifted some of it too. But I wanted to use products that people could get pretty readily, you know, if they've got a Hobby Lobby, they can so get So if them. you're wondering what we talk, we're talking about, yesterday's video, we did a wreath for the front door. Yeah, so. we did a wreath and I put lemons on it and we put it on a tobacco basket. All right, so this is done. It's just gotta dry. Are you gonna leave the inside red? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna bother to paint it because I'm gonna put succulents in there. And oh. I'll probably put another coat of red paint, wet distress, and I'll put succulents in there. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to take off. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hold on. Are you ready for something else? Yeah, I was going to tell them something. We'll go. All right. Um, be sure to hit the notifications and make sure you click see all so you don't miss any of our live videos. Share this video with your friends who love to go junking and maybe are interested in what we're going to buy. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you'd rather that we not. Um, and also be sure to mark your calendars on the 20 third of sorry I was like that's my memory the 23rd of June we are going to be in Fallbrook California and we will be doing the grand opening at vintage retail therapy we'll post the link to the event page below and that we will be selling our DIY paint sweet pickings and a few projects and I will be painting live so oh. that's exciting I know Thanks. people outside of Utah sometimes want to get a hold of us and our stuff so we're trying to branch out and we were looking at a space in Arizona too so, yep. exciting news. Okay, so we had one of those things where they like paid money. Oh. Oh, she just gave us money and said thank you. Thank you, New Creations 83, Tammy. You know what? That is our first one. You're the first I've been person. wondering if it's even working, so I appreciate that. Now we know Super Chat works. Five bucks. You can get popcorn at the movie theater. Yes. 
All right. Thank you so much. That is super sweet. We appreciate it. We look forward to our Saturday nights with you. Back today, we didn't have enough junk. And I'm like, Zeb, we got to go to the thrift store. We got to <laughs> get stuff. The people want to see the junk. Uh, we hope to see you next month in California. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. We it's used... This month. It's on the 23rd. Oh, it's already June. Oh, I forgot. Jessica said she didn't even know that existed. Um, anyways, I used Dinner Mint, White Swan. We've got Paint Pixie and Zebra brushes. Let me see if there's any more questions. Burlap with lace would look pretty around this. It absolutely would. Good job. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Wet Distress in is where Jamie will take the wet. Oh, somebody was asking what wet distress. Yeah, I'll just.